Welcome to this, a first look at the game, Paranoia. My name is Kasanis. Guys, Paranoia is a short, incomplete video game that I wrote for a cinematography course that I will be teaching at Sheridan next semester. It's cinematography for video games. So, cinematography, it's a one semester course, and cinematogra cinematography is a very large topic. Uh, in fact, it's a complete degree onto itself. Uh, but this will be really an introduction to cinematography, and cinematography in general is the is the art of visual storytelling through shot composition, through functional and artistic shot composition. It's it's about evoking a mood or feeling from people who are watching your film. And in the case of a video game with this with this dynamic and interactive uh, situation, uh, it's it's about that as well. It's about creating, telling a story through visuals. It's about making our characters, our players, feel a particular way. We're going to be taking a look at the differences between cinematography within video games and cinematography uh, for film in this short series. Really, what we're going to be concentrating on is everything that we're seeing visually in the video game. That's what, we're going to, that's what cinematography is in video games, everything that you're seeing visually. What we're going to concentrate this series on is uh, the use of the camera within Unity. So if we take a look in the little computer screen up there, we can see my character running around. That's an additional camera that has been added into Unity. We'll take a look at concepts like that. Also, for example, the the pre-rendered video I'm, I'm displaying on the screen there, the eye, uh, we'll take a look at being able to, to show pre-rendered video. We'll also discuss the, the creation of the trailer that you saw at the beginning as well. Uh, in the past, in the past when video games, uh, in, the, in the video games history, uh, there used to be this idea where you would have gameplay and you would have cutscenes that told the story and the gameplay was kind of like this this discrete section within within the video game itself and modern video games are really trying to break away from that we're really trying to do we're trying to get away from that concept in, in total we're really trying to have cinematography concepts added to the game itself we're trying to tell our visual story in the game itself rather than only in cutscenes rather than just story points within cutscenes but we will take a look at traditional cutscenes as well. So, for example, if I run over here, this this game is based on an idea uh, on a 1980s or 90s role-playing game called Paranoia, in which a computer had control of all of its citizens, and it was always watching over you, and uh, everything was about taking care of the the actual people that lived in this world. The people were divided up into very discrete citizenship ranges, uh, and you weren't allowed to go outside of that of that citizenship. So, for example, my character here is a yellow citizen, and he's not allowed to cross into the red zones. If he crosses into the red zones, for example, then the computer says, "Whoa, whoa, what are you doing?" and it kills you off. Okay, so that's that's kind of the idea behind this game. Um, what we will take a look at as well is is the creation of interactive cutscenes. So, what I just showed you was a camera switch, uh, as well as some camera effects where I've ha I had a uh, an overlay, a green overlay that made it look like a, a like a security camera. We'll take a look at that concept. We'll also take a look at simple concepts like this, uh, where we will play the camera. The computer will take over the your, or the game will take over the control of your character for a minute. You can't move or anything right now. You'll watch a cutscene. You'll be offered a an interactive choice to make, and afterwards you'll receive. The, the ability to move about again uh, on your own. So that's one, and that was using a, a, a two separate cameras. Now, to take a look at the same concept, I've got another cutscene over here. Take a look at the same concept that's more appropriate, for example, for mobile. Uh, for every camera that you have in your scene, there's a huge, a huge performance hit, uh, particularly when we're talking about mobile. So in this case here, where I've got another cutscene, I'm using one camera over and over again. And obviously, that transition was not awesome. Uh, but uh, I didn't work a lot on the transitions. <laughs> As you can tell, it took me three days to write this entire game. Uh, but anyway, th this is a single camera that's being used for that transition as well. So once you've uh, traded this guy here, your clothes, he becomes yellow, you become red, 
everyone's happy, and now you can go around and eat cake, which is the whole point of this game. You're trying to eat the cake that the computer has left uh, about for the red citizens to eat. Um, and once, so once you've got your red thing, you can go around. We're going to take a look at, once I pick up this cake, there's an arc shot. We'll take a look at creating, for example, an arc shot like this uh, as well. So there's a number of different different things we're going to take a look at in this series. Uh, you don't have to use it for what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to take a look at creating the dynamic camera that allows us to create this kind of top-down uh, or three-quarter view, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Three-quarter view survival type game. Um, but you don't have to use it for this. You could put any kind of camera you wanted within here, a third person, a first person, whatever you wanted, and you could follow these same cinematography concepts or cinematography theory within your game. All right, guys? The way this game ends is once you've eaten five pieces of cake, the computer tells you uh, you're a gluttonous or whatever, and then it kills you off by uh, helping you break your addiction to cake. So if I eat this last piece of cake, and the computer is now going to try and kill me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know down in the comments what you think. A thumbs up or thumbs down would be great. Comments are even better. All right, guys? Thumbs up. Thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day, everyone.